Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I would like you guys to work in groups with the students who have access to SketchUp Pro or SketchUp Studio. So that's just the version of SketchUp which you can use on your desktop computer instead of uh, accessing online. The online version is free, but it lacks some functionality and the Pro version is what we need to do this next exercise. So in groups of four or five, please find somebody who has SketchUp Pro or Studio, and I've listed their names on our design media board, and get in touch with them, and we will do this quick five minute exercise as groups. So when you open up SketchUp, uh, select the simple meters template. When you get into the model, you can just select the scale figure and delete him or her. Um, now we're going to go up to File, Geolocation, Add Location. And this is going to bring up, it'll probably bring up for you a, a world view of the map here. And what I want you to do is zoom into your sites. You're going to see all of these like little blue areas from different cities. That just means that there's high resolution coverage. If your map is currently in this view, which is map view, change it to the satellite view. So I'm going to zoom into the sample site that I was working with. And for now, I'm just going to turn this off so that I can see the map a little bit more clearly. You can see that there's an outline of a square around me. That is essentially the closest that you can really select with SketchUp in this geolocation data. Um, you can just zoom in closer, but the square is going to stay the same size. So that's fine. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to my site and make sure that I'm capturing um, all of the data that I want. And I'll just turn on that high-risk coverage again. And now I'm going to go select region. It's going to ask me to select an imagery provider. Your map has uh, pretty high quality tiles, but they cost 36 cents per tile. Um, we're going to use the free scenario, which is Digital Globe. So I'm just going to zoom in again and um, make sure that I'm covering all of my site. I think that's much more than I need, but I'll stick with that. And then I'm going to go Import. Okay. So there you see we have this image imported, um, but I don't see any topography. So how you can access that is by going into this tags area on your sidebar. And if you're not seeing this, I'm gonna go to windows and default tray, and then just make sure that tags is enabled here. So in your tags, you see there's untagged, there's the location snapshot, which is the image here. And then there's location terrain. And if you turn that on and then use the center mouse button to orbit around, you can see that we have a topographic image and model of this terrain. So that's great. And we are um, gonna leave it like that. But first let's just turn off the terrain again and go to camera standard views, top. Now, when we import this into Rhino, it's going to come in at a different location than our current aerial map. So we're going to need to match those maps up to each other. What you'll need to do is select a, either a building or a feature that has really easy to match or distinguishable geometry and trace a line around it so that you can um, make sure that you bring it, this model into the same spot as the one you already have in Rhino. So I'm going to use one of these distinguishable circle shapes. And even though we're zooming in and it's really low quality, I'm just going to kind of try to guess. And maybe I'll draw a couple circles just so I can try to match up a couple of them when I get into Rhino. So if you want to just draw a simple shape, you can go up to the shapes palette up here. And I'm going to use circle. I will select what I think is the center of the circle. I click in the middle and then I can just draw to the edge. You can see that creates a surface. 
So I'm just going to do another one down here just to be sure that I, yeah. It's a little hard because it's so pixelated. If you wanted to draw a rectangle um, because you want to match it up to a house or another building, you can do it like that. So um, this is really crappy quality. It might be really tough to do this, um, but try to find something large that you can match up to. So I'm going to go with the corner of this parking lot and I'm just going to draw it like that. So hopefully when I bring this into my other image, I can use the corner or I can use the centers of these circles to match up with the existing. Okay, once you've drawn a reference object, um, you can turn your location terrain back on. And then we're going to save this file as an older version of SketchUp. I'm going to use SketchUp 8. I have imported 2013 and even 2018 into Rhino with relatively no issues, but this is the safest one. So I'm going to save with version 8 and call it my site plan terrain. So this is the end of the SketchUp portion of the tutorial. In the next one, we are going to import this into Rhino. So you can, um, if you're working in groups right now, you can go off and break out individually and continue the tutorial on your own.